Software Spring Presence How to use SumFS in Google Sheets Hello folks! Greetings! Welcome to this tutorial on the SumFS function. Here's an intro to SumFS. SumFS returns the sum of numbers, in the specified range, based on one or more criterion. Let's look at the format of the SumFS function formula. Here's an example. Sum range, is the range that contains the numbers you want to sum. Criteria range 1, is the first criteria range. Criterion 1, is the first criterion, which criteria range 1 should satisfy. Criteria range 2, is optional, and is the second criteria range. Criterion 2, is the second criterion, which criteria range 2 should satisfy. Moving forward, here's an objective of using the SUMFS function. To get total quantity ordered by, and total amount received from, dealer ID 34483, for product hard disk. First, instead of typing this data, let's get the same through a formula. Type equal to, and click this cell. Repeat the step. Alright, we are all set to calculate the total quantity, using SUMFS. First, type equal to, S, U, M. Select SUMFS. For some range, select this range. Type comma. For criteria range 1, select this range. Type comma. For criterion 1, click this cell. Type comma. For criteria range 2, select this range. Type comma. For criterion 2, click this cell. Press enter. Now, let's get the total order value. What we need to do, is to simply copy the formula in this cell, to this cell. However, we need to make two changes. One before copying the formula, and the other after copying the formula. The first change is, we should make this address as absolute, so when we copy the formula, the address will not change. Select this addresses. Press F4. The dollar sign indicates that the address is absolute. Press enter to exit the formula bar. Going forward, let's copy the formula to this cell. Click this cell. Drag this handle to this cell, and deselect. Click this cell, so we can see the formula in the formula bar. What is the second change we need to make? We should change the sum range to this because we want the total amount. Select this sum range, and delete. Specify this range, as the new sum range. Press enter. There you go. This is the total sales amount for this product. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.